now uh, in, uh, in this slides we are going to compare the filter method wrapper method and embedded methods here we can see there are three columns filter wrapper embedded so filter is consist of generic set of methods which do not incorporate a specific machine learn learning algorithm so it will be just a general algorithm it, it may not need to be external algorithm or specific algorithms or wrapper method yellows on a specific machine lear learning algorithm to find optimal features so it is a wrapper method is used specific learning algorithm like different nesting methods to find optimal features third one is the embedded methods is a fixed feature during model building process feature selection is done by overseeing each iteration and model training phase but it means this is the decision tree here so fixed labels are required so filter method is much more faster compared to wrapper method in terms of time complexity wrapper method is in high computation time for its data set with many features and the embedded method sits between filter method and wrapper methods in terms of time complexity so the ideal is a embedded methods so it will not go higher or it will not go in lower specification also so the filter method may also consist of the less prone to overfitting and the wrapper method is a high chance for overfittings and the general embedded method is reduce overfitting by penalizing the coefficient of model being too large now this is the filter method having the example square test and anova and the wrapper method is a forward selection or backward elimination and the embedded method is a lasso and rig regression this is the how the comparison works between three methods now the decision tree application in mechanical engineering so it's have multiple metrics have been proposed to measure the creativity of products yet there is a still need to we need for effective reliable method to assess the original of new product design scoring method is based on the decision tree is proposed to high access the originality of concept that are produced during idea generation activities within engineering design this decision tree is centered around distinguishing design innovation at the system level so the how the decision tree application mechanical engineering works with the help of the chart here we can see this does the concept achieving design goes beyond the industry norm if it is no then it is null if it is yes then to what extent the design integrated around the innovation so that root node or that main node may consist of the following trees again the first one is this one the improvements are made at the system level and the entire concept is integrated around those innovations if it is yes if the design is so unique it's unlike to be seen again if it is yes then 10 if it is no 7 point marks then coming to the name next uh, main note the improvements are moderately integrated design remains typical the improvement is essential is to be function then 5 points are given and the improvements in this primary note tree having a subset of improvements are minor or isolated for the rest of the design the improvement is peripheral peripheral to the function is 2.5 so generally this is the in creativity design the if the lesser the improvement chances it will be the more accurate of the design so it is a iteration type of the what we call decision tree application in mechanical engineering works so the decision tree application in mechanical engineering is used to fault diagnosing of compressor based on decision tree and fuzzy interference system 
so here the it's a, what we call that is a values are given that is f3 d1 if it is a healthy compressor the 35 marks are given if it is not healthy compression is less than 0.20 is value given then it is just like a keep passing with the decision roads if broken blades less than 0.4 is value you have if it is not broken blades then it is forwarded again to the crack side if it is a crack then less than 0.3 is given if it is greater than it is a again go for the different cracks of blades and if it is a greater than that that is a broken blades so this is the decision tree of our fuzzy interference of the system so this is how it is works it's a fuzzy logic it's a based upon the value the feature selection and ml best prediction property of material here original data is given Ordinary data is given. The feature property pairs of materials requires material feature and targeted properties. That what we want and what we have. So the first one is the average coordination number, composition proportion, atomic valence, valence, crystal enthalpy, and the second is the lattice constant, ion conductivity. Feature property of pairs of materials. This is the consisting and the feature selection based upon the method that is a filter method, wrapper method, and embedded method. This is the feature selection method is used to get the final training data sets. After this filtered, after this using three techniques, what we get the output the relevant or key descriptor or high quality data, and that is again forwarded to machine learning models that is neural networks and neural networks is judged to or it's identified the results in uh, various types of results this is the prediction of results this is how this is the how the feature selection for machine learning based is predicted in selection of properties of material This is the more examples. We can take few of those. There is a prediction of surface roughness, model based control, diagnosis and condition monitoring, material removal, life prediction of mechanical components. These are the general examples which is used to predict the uh, accurate results using feature selection is machine learning based prediction of the properties of material type of algorithm. So, thank you.